Lord Byron, also known as George Gordon Byron, the sixth Baron Byron. Poet, playboy, and personal hero. And now, the man himself, Lord Byron. So I had this dog. He was a big dog. He was, he was strong. And he got rabies. And so this one time, he had rabies, he was, he was coming at me, he was going to jump on me, he was going to try and kill me. I could see it in his eyes, they were angry, evil in his eyes. And so, he jumps on me, he's going to try and bite me. I took him down, no big deal. I don't have a dog anymore. I'm a member of the House of Lords. We were in the House of Lords and we were talking about what are we going to do about the Luddites. The Luddites were the people who destroyed the looms that were destroying their jobs in the garment industry. Um, and everyone in there was just so pro-machine and so anti-humanity. Anti and I just wouldn't stand for it. I, I stood up for them and I said, wait a second, what are we doing here? What are you talking about doing? These are people out there. They have families, they have kids, they should have their jobs. So there was a rebellion in Greece. Really nice people, the Greeks. Um, so I went down there to help out the rebels against, um, against the oppressors, and I ended up, I took charge, and I just took over one of their, one of their armies there, and we, we fought hard. Here's a little something I've been working on. They say that hope is happiness. But genuine love must prize the past. And memory wakes the thought that bless. They rose to the first. They set the last. And all that memory loves the most was once our only hope to be. And all that hope adored and lost hath melted into memory. Alas, it is delusion all. The future cheats us from afar. Nor can we be what we recall. Nor dare we think on what we are. I'd say yes, the rumors are true. I've slept with a lot of people. Like, 300. I, I kept track.